Good morning. How's everybody doing there? So uh, I'm in uh, the La Perota RV park and I uh, just wanted to make this a uh, little quick video, kind of uh, talk about the place, um, talk about the view. Um, so it's, uh, it's about uh, 15, 20 minutes north of Sayulita. Uh, it's about 350 pesos uh, a night. They do a monthly uh, terms, which is about 8,000 pesos. And I did run into someone and said that you can get a place here in town for about seven. So um, what's really great is that the, uh, uh, the place not only has water, electric, concrete pads, uh, pretty good Wi-Fi, um, and uh, this really uh, amazing uh, beach, right? So, and they also have a, uh, a restaurant that's behind me over here, oh, over here. Um, that, so y you got everything that you need right there and you really don't have to go anywhere. Um, the food's pretty good. I did have some pizza yesterday and there was too much rosemary. I don't know why people put rosemary and tomato sauce, but no, it's not, it's not how it is where I come from. But anyway, uh, I'll flip the camera around here and uh, kind of talk about some more stuff. So this is the, uh, the beach here. It's really, uh, it's really beautiful. It's kind of like a little bit of a cove. Um, I gotta say, this is probably like one of the cleanest beaches that I've seen in um, Mexico. Um, uh, people, they have uh, committees here and people from Canada and also the U.S. that go around clean. Um, they've establishing recycling programs here, um, which, is, which is really great. I mean, it is one of those things when you come to Mexico, you're kind of shocked by how much garbage is all over the place, um, on the beaches, on the roads. Um, it's just everywhere. So for to have a beach this clean here, um, and this nice and people that care about it um, is, uh, is, is really great. So kudos to the uh, Canadians uh, that come here and do this. So, um, so kind of just speaking about that. So this, uh, this, uh, this is the restaurant over here. Um, Kind of doing this in reverse here because uh, the audio didn't capture the first time. So here's your uh, gate. Oh, gate. There's that restaurant. Um, and then here's the RV park, right? So it has about 45 spots. Um, and there's not that many people here. I'd say it's maybe. 10 percent, but 10, 15 percent full. Um, there are some uh, long-term people here that bring their campers down and leave them, right? So it's kind of common, but there's a bunch of other uh, RV parks around here that are completely empty. Um, so obviously with the uh, border being closed there in Canada it prevents a lot of people from coming down unless you ship your vehicle but uh, so like I say um, spots here are pretty good All right, nice concrete pad it's level pad you do have your 30 amp and your 110 which is good sometimes you have one but not the other here you got both so Anyway, just got to get some little piece of bacon over here. This was breakfast. Buenos dias. So, that's kind of where I'm going to leave the uh, video for today. Um, if you do have any questions or comments, or uh, feel free to reach out. I'm going to get ready this morning and head out to Guadalajara, 
stay there for a night and then head north. Um, Guadalajara is a difficult, difficult city to drive in. I think it's the only city that I won't drive in. Um, when I stayed there, I just, it was too hard. And I've driven in a lot of places in many countries and uh, that's a tough city. So anyway, um, thanks for watching and uh, stay safe. And uh, thanks to all my subscribers um, and my new subscribers. Um, it's, it's great to watch the channel grow. Um, and uh, the road ahead is kind of unknown. I'm gonna make my way back to Victoria. Um, been here for five months already. Um, I am working on making a uh, recap video, which uh, we'll see how that works. Um, what I will say is don't believe what you hear in the news about Mexico. A lot of it's not true. Uh, great people, great food, great places. Um, there are topes, that's a problem. So take care and be safe.